Yo guys, what's up? Today's video is a bit different. You know, I've made videos about some iOS 17 features, such as standby mode, screen distance, and Siri back-to-back -back requests. But don't you think that they're kind of cosmetic and aesthetic? That's actually what I thought when I first watched the WWDC keynote. Oh, iOS 17 is just mostly cosmetic updates. Man, oh man, how wrong I was. Because now that I've dug deeper, I've discovered so many iOS 17 features that are really useful. This is why I'm so excited because in today's video, I'm going to touch on new useful features in the spotlight area. It's a part of a series of videos about useful iOS 17 features with each video focusing on a certain area of the operating system. I will also make an iOS 17 playlist so that you can easily find each area or topic in that playlist. Do you also think that iOS 17 is merely cosmetic? If you do, you may change your mind by the end of this video. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. Spotlight has become extremely handy and useful and also powerful. To be honest, I think these features have now become my favorite features over standby mode. Yep, that's true. By the way, I'm gonna count down so that the last feature I mention is my number one favorite. So make sure to watch to the end. First off, let's talk about files. When you type files, Spotlight will show you files you recently interacted with. Not necessarily the most recently downloaded though. You can also search the file name. And when you click, it will open the file straight away. But if you click the search icon, it will open the enclosing folder and the file will get highlighted for a brief time. Don't you agree that this feature is so handy? Next up, you can now look up artists. For example, let's look up Celine Dion. Spotlight will show you all information about Celine. You can read her wiki, her songs, her albums, recent news about Celine. And when you click her concert, it'll take you to an app called Events. In that app, you can add the concert to your calendar event. Isn't it cool? You can also see her movies, TV shows. You can watch her YouTube videos, her social medias, and many more. The next feature is nodes. When you type nodes, you are now able to create a new node straight from Spotlight. Isn't it so handy, guys? You can also search the title of your note or reminder. For example, I've got a reminder for my Walmart grocery list. It'll take you straight to your checklist. You can also search an item within your reminder. In this example, I'd like to find butter. You can now add an event straight from Spotlight. For example, let's type Zoom meeting at 5 p.m. You can now see the option to add that event to your calendar. You can now search an app and download it without opening the App Store at all. Just type the name of the app in Spotlight and click Download. You can just type the number you want to call 
or paste a long number you have copied, it will show options to FaceTime, message or call that number. Or just click go and make the call. There's more. You can also add that number if it's not in your contacts. You can create new contact or add existing contact. You can also type the name of your contact and it will also give you options to FaceTime, message and call. How convenient! Type Auto Brightness and it will take you straight to the setting page without having to manually dive deep into the settings app. Now, finally, this is my number one favorite spotlight feature of all. You can toggle on and off several settings directly in Spotlight, for example, cellular data. And when you type settings, Spotlight will show you all the toggles that you can turn on and off via Spotlight. Holy moly, Spotlight has become so useful and powerful. So there you go guys, new iOS 17 features in Spotlight. Do you still think that iOS 17 is just cosmetics or now you know that there are awesome useful features as well? Let me know in the comments below. And this is just Spotlight guys, there are also so many amazing features in Safari, Notes, calendar, markup, photos, camera, and so on and so forth. And I will make videos about all those features as well. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss upcoming tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.